Hello there, hope you enjoyed your Saturday. It will be ending on a fairly fine note for many of us. A decent number of late sunny intervals across the bulk of the UK and a relatively benign night to be had, largely dry as well. Into the overnight period, we will start to see some mist and murk forming, primarily for areas around the wash over towards the Bristol Channel. That southeastern quadrant of the UK could turn a bit murky come dawn tomorrow morning. There will also be a little low cloud pushing into parts of western upslope areas of southern uplands into parts of Scotland as well. It is, though, the thickest cloud going to be reserved for the very far north of Scotland, where we see this band of rain pushing its way in for the Isle of Lewis, skirting across the Highlands and up towards Orkney and Shetland as well. Could turn quite heavy for a time, first thing on Sunday morning, and the breeze will also be strengthening here as well over night. For many of us though it will be a pretty mild night, temperatures in towns and cities holding up well into double digit figures, 13, 14 degrees Celsius for some, might drop into single figures for some rural areas, particularly where those winds do stay lighter but should be a fairly warm start for many of us as we kick off Sunday. And whilst there will be a little mist and murk around first thing, it will clear off pretty readily. And you see, these are mean wind speeds here. Thanks to that and the sunshine that will be developing across the bulk of England and Wales, it'll be a fairly fine second half of the weekend. A good amount of sunshine in there as well. A little bit more cloud across parts of Northern Ireland into Southern Scotland, Northern England will make the sunshine hazier at times. Eastern Scotland though, seeing a good amount of sunshine and sheltered from the breeze here, but it is still gonna be the far northwest of Scotland that sees much cloudier and dampier conditions throughout the day. Whilst the rain will be heaviest f first thing in the morning, it will then ease its way off around lunchtime, but still some outbreaks of light patchy rain throughout much of the day, perhaps pushing more into parts of the highlands as well, and certainly still quite windy around those coastal areas. These are mean wind speeds. Gust speeds will be close to gale force around exposed coastal areas, 35 40 miles per hour. That will certainly make it feel quite chilly, fresh if you are exposed to the wind and the cloud in general, holding temperatures back in the northwest around 15 to 17 degrees Celsius. Elsewhere, where you have the sunshine, though it is going to be feeling noticeably warm, climbing to 26 degrees across eastern areas of England, even 23 for eastern Scotland as well. Well above average for the time of year at the start of September. The sunshine that we see throughout the day will linger on into the evening as well, allowing a fairly fine and nice end to the weekend for many of us. Again, clear intervals for the bulk of England and Wales overnight before the mist and murk returns most extensively again come Monday morning across eastern areas of England. But now with lighter winds for parts of Northern Ireland on Monday morning, we could see a little bit of that fog developing across the public just stretch its way into parts of County Fermanagh, County Armour as we head towards dawn as well. Cloudier throughout the night across areas of northwest Scotland, the rain persisting, but the wind's just easing off for a time at least. Temperatures once again in our towns and cities will be holding up quite widely in double digit figures, 13 to 14 degrees Celsius, if not 16 for some areas of the south as we start to tap into some mild and humid air. So another warm start to Monday morning, but also a decent amount of sunshine thanks to that high pressure that is still lingering its way on. The far north though still seeing that frontal feature in place, but also the isobars noticeably squeezing together across the far southwest. So for parts of Devon, Cornwall, Monday will be a breezier day, quite gusty around some coastal areas as well. Also breezy still across the far north, again maybe some exposed gales along those coastlines as well, with the rain just lingering for parts of the Isle of Lewis and over towards Shetland as well. In between though, winds will be noticeably lighter and there will be a good amount of sunshine throughout the day again once that early mist and fog clears its way off and really quite a glorious day for many of us. Temperatures responding once again, now climbing widely into the mid if not high 20s for parts of southeastern England, 28 degrees Celsius the top temperature likely on the day. Even into Northern Ireland, 23 degrees Celsius, eastern Scotland climbing to 25 degrees Celsius as well. That is heat wave threshold criteria for some of us, so noticeably above average for the time of year. It's only though gonna get hotter as we head throughout the rest of the week as well. The high pressure that is with us is gonna slowly drift its way over towards the east into the North Sea. And meanwhile, whilst low pressure is sticking out in the Atlantic, that allows us to tap into a southerly flow of air and we'll start to see those really hot conditions moving in from continental Europe. So possibly 30 degrees Celsius as we head towards Thursday, Friday. That will also be accompanied by some 
increasing amounts of humidity and also some noticeably warmer nights as well. Some places not dropping much below the high teens as we head towards the end of the week. Certainly a slice of summer that many of us have been missing over the past couple of months, but we'll keep you up to date on all of that as we head over the next few days. So make sure you're following us across all of our social media channels to find out all of those details. And we'll be back with you again very shortly. Bye-bye.